Drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, revealing. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm a diva and welcome back to another vlog. I know this is not like if you're new here. I know this is probably not like the ideal intro, like y'all literally are in my dashboard. Um, but if you're not new here, you know that oftentimes I do vlog in my car and I just have had zero luck with like car mounts. Um, to be honest, I probably only have had two car mounts in the past and neither one of them lasted very long. <laughs> Maybe we'll find one today. Maybe we won't, I don't know. But today is going to be a day where I just kind of like have a little time to myself. Um, Wednesdays is the day that my husband, he goes, he doesn't go to the office. I'm sorry guys. I'm also trying to make sure I do not miss <laughs> my turn. I did not put in my GPS today because I'm like, you know what, I think I got this. So well, let's see if I really have this. Um, I've been in this area for over a month now and I literally put in my GPS every single time I go to Target. But the reality is like I don't need it anymore. It's just kind of like a security type of thing. Like it makes me feel, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. But um, yeah, so Wednesdays are the days that the hubby works from home. And typically, not all the time, but a lot of the times, I try to get out of the house on Wednesdays and just go do something like alone. Cause it, you know, I'm, well, maybe you don't know if you're new here. <laughs> I keep saying if you're new here, cause I've been getting a lot of new subscribers, but I'm a stay at home mom officially. <laughs> officially like I used to work one day out the week but I am literally a stay-at-home mom now um I don't work at all um well I do work as a stay-at-home mom <laughs> but yeah so I've been trying to get out the house I've been trying to get away from my little munchkin sometimes because it can really it can be a lot at times my baby is very like <laughs> vocal we'll just say that she's a very vocal child so um she whines a lot and it can be a lot sometimes it really really can so sorry y'all i'm trying to pay attention to the road and vlog at the same time this probably is illegal if it's not illegal it should be illegal with that being said i'm going to pick the camera back up once we get to our destination okay guys so we have made it to our first destination i'm sure y'all can tell where we're at by the background walmart we are at walmart to do an exchange i came to walmart last week and i bought a couple of dresses and one of them was actually really really tight um i got it in a size 3x normally i'm like a 1x 2x typically like a 2x but i was looking at the material and how the dress flowed and i was like let's go up a size so i got a 3x thinking oh yeah this will be perfect no they meant for that dress to be skin tight because the 3x literally showed every last curve in my body and we don't do that we do not do that so i'm going into walmart to do a return i don't really like walmart i like walmart for what they have to offer but i hate walmart for the vibes but I got to go in here. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to make a return. And then, well, actually, I'm going to grab, like, some greens. I'm making greens tonight. We'll probably do that together. I have, like, some turkey neck and onion simmering on the stove. Or turkey um, turkey drum on the stove simmering and some water and onions. And then I'm going to, you know, pop my greens in there with some chicken bouillon. A little bit of a splash of uh, white distilled vinegar. And then we're going to have that with some... Um, some ribs and now that I think about it I have the I'm gonna have to switch out the pot because I want to make my ribs in my Dutch oven but right now I have my greens in the Dutch oven well I have my turkey leg in the Dutch oven but anyway we're gonna go in here to Walmart I'm gonna grab a few things and then I'll probably go to um services which I don't even know if services is open I think it's like nine or ten o'clock sadly I don't even know exactly what time it is um 
but hopefully services is either open or will be open shortly y'all it is so windy and slightly chilly out here i don't really understand i'll be honest this is probably like the cleanest walmart i've ever been to we need more strawberries my little one eats them up like crazy so i'm gonna go ahead and get a pack of strawberries i'm sad because i did not bring my tripod guys I could use the green bell peppers to be honest. And they look good. Like I've never been to a Walmart where their produce looks so good. <sighs> now let's see if we can find us some greens. Some beautiful, beautiful. Look at their produce. Like, am I tripping? Like, I can I can deal with this Walmart. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm the type, this type of girl. Like, I like to get my greens pre-chopped. Now, I will wash them a couple of times. Ooh, but they have the, the green trio, too. And I'm pretty sure this is, like, kale. Yeah, this is collard. Is it going to focus? Yeah, collard, kale, mustard, and turnips. So, this is more than three. One, two, three, four. This is four. I'm going to go with this one. It's only 348 too, so. Got what I needed from this section. Now let's go to the clothes. Okay, y'all, so I love this dress, but, so I have a shirt that I need to return to tar uh, Target as well, and the stripes go from left to right. And stripes going that way on a big person or on a plus size person, is not complimenting it does not compliment us at all if you want to wear stripes and your plus size get stripes to go up and down so yeah that's the only reason i'm not going to get that because it's actually really cute and comfy but i will look at this one in a size 2x oh yeah we're gonna get this one it's 14.98 the dress i have in my best the dress that I'm returning is, I think, $12. Yeah, $12.98. So I just be paying a $2 difference. Girl math, it's free. <laughs> I really like the black one too. I love dresses like this because you can just do so much with them. Okay, y'all, I think it's time for me to get a body. Oh, I love that little skirt duo right there. But those type of skirts. The material is pretty form-fitting. But I think I'm going to go ahead and head to the service center because um, if I stay in here too much longer, I'll be doing some things. I Oh, some things I have no business. This tan dress. Again, though, this material I am not the biggest fan of because it's very... It clings to the body and they don't even have this in anything larger than a oh yeah they do they have it in a 3x and a 2x i would probably get this in a 3x but i'm not getting it even though i really could use let's go try it on let's go try it on and see which dress we like better the tan or the the pink Oh my gosh, y'all remember when half jean jackets was in style? <laughs> this was literally back in like middle school that these type of jackets were in style. The half. I mean, I guess they're coming back. I mean, they're still cute. Oh, I like this one. Hold on, guys. I'm struggling. This one's really cute. Isn't it? Yeah. I'd wear it. Super cute. Y'all, this Walmart is literally like a Target. It's so nice. I should get some of these. But I don't like this style. And by the way, y'all, the dress was, both dresses were too small, so didn't get neither. But we have made it to the service desk. Oh, okay. I found some earrings, but I'll do like a little haul when I get home. Have some stuff coming from Amazon as well today. 
Okay, y'all, so I checked out and I realized, well, I was getting ready to check out while I was standing in the, um, the service center and I realized that the greens were expired. So he's, all of them expired. <laughs> they expired yesterday, so he's getting ready to go back there to see if they have any that are, um, you know, not expired. <laughs> But y'all, so I'm done at Walmart. We are gonna head to Target. I have to make an exchange there and y'all know Target is dangerous. So I'm gonna try not to do too, too much. Um, I really just wanna look in the, at the skincare and I wanna look at the clothes and probably look at the baby girl clothes too. But that's really about it at Target. And then I'll, I'll head home um, and start cooking dinner. Okay guys, my eyes are watering because it is so windy outside. But we're leaving Walmart, headed to Target. I'm gonna show y'all the shirt that I'm exchanging. This is the shirt that I'm exchanging. It's so cute. Like I love the knitted shirt or whatever, but when I tell y'all that shirt made me look wide as all outside, it made me look real wide. But um, yeah, that was actually like <laughs> a lot. I mean, not a lot. I'm, I'm talking about my, my, my trip inside of Walmart, by the way, if you're wondering, what am I even talking about? Um, it just, yeah, it's gonna always be something with my Walmart, even though the Walmart was very clean. And I asked her, I'm like, is this a newer Walmart? You know, I'm new to the area. Like the Walmart is really not, I wanted to pull straight out, but this car just pulled in front of me. But anyway, I was like, is this a newer Walmart? because it's really nice and she was like no it's not they just do a really good job at keeping it up they also have like a shawarma press shop in here if you guys like halal food um i would definitely give it a try i've never seen like a halal shop inside of a walmart but i'd be open to trying it but yeah it was just a lot because it was like okay um, I tried on the dresses, which I'm really not the type of person to try on clothes when I go to the store, but I need to start getting in the habit of it because lately, yeah, I've been realizing that stuff looks really good on hangers and then you put it on and vice versa. Something may look ugly on a hanger or not as cute on a hanger and then you put it on. It's like, wow, this is cute. But so I had to try the dresses on and then I had to do an exchange and then in the midst of doing my exchange, I realized the produce was expired. Then I went back to the produce section because I had her just ring me up for the produce like an idiot. I was like, oh, just ring me up for it and I'll go and grab a fresher bag. And so she did that. But when I went over there, they were all expired. So then I had to go back to services to do kind of like an exchange because I found a different bag of greens. It just, I think it's just regular collard greens and it was like a dollar and 50 cents more. So I had to go and do a exchange. So it was just a lot. But anyway, we are headed to Target. And I'm definitely gonna get me some Starbucks. I have not ate today. I really have been trying like to eat less. Um, I can't see for crap. Hold on y'all. I'm sorry guys, I can't see. Okay, so. What am I even saying? I'm saying I'm finna turn this camera off because I need to focus on the road. But I've been trying to eat like less and it's actually really been working. Um, <laughs> I've lost a little bit of weight y'all, lost like eight pounds. Woohoo, um, we're celebrating the small victories. So I haven't ate yet, but I think um, I'll be okay if I get like a a um a matcha i think i'll be okay so i think i'm gonna get a matcha um from target and then i'll probably just have my one meal for the day um and that'll be it probably more than likely <laughs> y'all let me get off this phone because i am try to pay attention to this road i'm really not trying to i need to pay attention to this road okay first of all i probably got the best parking spot in the house <laughs> i'm literally like right at the door so that's good um i just checked in with the hubby alina is actually going down for a nap and i'm like i'm probably gonna be in here for like an hour 
Meaning when I get home, Alina is going to be waking up. I was hoping that she would go down for a nap like right before I left the stores. How selfish of me. But I already know what she's going to have for lunch. I had made these veggie pinwheels. Um, and it's like broccoli and cheese in them. So she seems to like them. So I'm going to probably warm that up in the air fryer for her to have. Matter of fact, I need to FaceTime the hubby because I need to see what... Um, my broth on the stove is looking like the freaking cutest i've actually been looking for this skirt forever because it's on the mannequin over there and every time i come in here i can never find this skirt and now that i found it <clears throat> they don't have it in my size um i would definitely want to get this in a double x <sighs> so it is what it is though this one's cute too but y'all i got my my drink and my danish y'all i wish they had this in alina's size oh my gosh it's so cute okay guys so we've made it back to our humble abode i have on this lip that i just got and i'm kind of not feeling it i think i'm gonna return it <laughs> um yeah guys our bed frame made it okay we got a lot to do today so excited. Some of the stuff I got, some of the stuff I got is kind of personal. So I won't show y'all that bag, but. Let me just get her. Oh, I got these cute little earrings. Cause y'all don't know, but I got my ears repaired. Y'all, I've been trying to do like three or four different vlogs, but. I keep losing footage between trying to record for y'all and record for Instagram. So I was doing like a vlog last week where it was like, not a self-care vlog, but it was literally like today, except on steroids. I went to so many different stores. I went to Sephora. I went to TJ Maxx. I went to Target. I went to Claire's. Um, they actually tried to hire me at Claire's. Like they literally was like, we love your style. <laughs> do you want a job and I'm like not really and they were like but you can work whatever days you want it's a part-time management position and I was like hmm, I'll consider it but I don't I don't think I'm gonna move forward with that but anyway got my ears repierced so your girl is no longer a clip on girly so y'all know I'm gonna start getting the cute earrings do you like these for mommy um we got some new brushes from Sonia Kashuk. I am literally going to go through my brushes. Y'all are gonna go through my brushes with me and we're gonna get rid of a ton of brushes because my makeup routine is very minimal these days and I don't need all the brushes that I have and some of them are really old. So we got a new set. I need to make sure all of them are there because if not, it just didn't seem like it. It's 10 brushes, but the bag seems a little sparse. Um, three more things. I got a new lippy, which I'm wearing now. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it's too, um, it's not like the right tone for my skin tone. It's not the right color for my skin tone, but I got this new lip, lippy by Maybelline. I'm a very much matte type of girl. Like I know matte, you know, was really popular during an, a period of time. And then now like, we're back to the glosses, but I still like matte. And so then I love using eyeliners, like cream eyeliners as lip liners. So I got this one by NYX. I've been looking for like a deep brown. I went to Sephora last week and they sold me one and it just ain't deep enough. I mean, I'll still use it, but it's really not that deep um, as far as like the color of the brown. And so the last thing I got was on sale. Oh, and I got Alina some stuff too, but it's in her, I already put it in her Perim bag. Um, but I got this product by Verse. It's a skincare product. It's the Sweet Relief Overnight Barrier Balm. I needed something um, to add to my nighttime skincare routine to kind of give me that extra protection during the night. So yeah, um, but that's all I got. I did get Alina a dress and some cute sandals to go with her dress, which I actually need to try the shoes on. And even if they don't fit, which I assume they'll be like a little too big, 
I assume they're going to be a little too big, but even if they don't fit, I'm going to keep them for her because she can grow into them. But if they're too small, then obviously, oops, this is, speak this way, mama. Okay. Let me see your foot, boo boops. Oh no, this is perfect. So you do wear a size three. Oh, Nina, look at your little feet. Look at your little feet, mommy. Oh gosh, I want her to wear these this week, but I'm terrible. Like half of her perim gifts, <laughs> we uh have already opened. But I'm gonna put these. Hold on, let me show them to y'all. These are it. They're so cute. They're so cute. But half of her perim gifts, she's already like opened and wore. So I'm really trying not to do that with this. So I think I'm gonna just put this in her, her bag and let her open them. Gosh. Okay, we'll be back because the camera falling. Okay, y'all. So we're back because I have some Amazon packages that I was going to unbox with y'all. As y'all saw, our bed frame. We got a new bed frame. Um, it just got here. So we'll probably put that together a little bit later. I don't know when, but probably a little later. Um, hopefully. <laughs> But we got some stuff to go on the bed. We got new sheets. We've been needing new sheets for a while. This is a four piece sheet set, brush fabric wrinkle resistant. We'll see if that's true or not. But we really needed new sheets. We literally, I think, have one set of sheets and they look so worn because I try to wash them once a week. But yeah, so this is the color we got it in. It kind of matches my dress. You know, we into the nudes and the neutrals. So we got that. And then I think this is the pillow. Because um, this is going to be a decorative pillow. We're going to do decorative pillows. And then I ordered some pillowcases to go on them. But I don't think they'll be here till tomorrow. So we have some stuff coming tomorrow. And then I think we have something coming Friday too. Um... So, I don't even know why I'm unboxing this pillow with y'all, but maybe it'll be satisfying. Just maybe. Can you even see what I'm doing? That trash stinks so bad. I think this is a set of two pillows, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, these are pillow inserts. So, these aren't like pillows that you would actually lay on. These are pillows that you use for decor. I definitely should have had some scissors. And I'm still just being super reckless. Well, here goes Simba running rampant again. And I got rid of all his toys with catnip. I don't understand why he's still acting the way he's acting so these are the pillows i don't think oh they do chop yay they actually chop i didn't really like type in a specific type of pillow um as far as like me being able to chop it but it does chop so i'm super excited about that it came with two I forgot, I think I got like a pan, like a true pan uh, cover for these. So yeah, let's probably get these out the kitchen so that they don't get dirty, but oh, they're so soft. Um, but yeah, can't wait for the pillowcases to come in. And then I got like a long pillow to put on the bed as well. Now Simba's playing with the plastic. Let me show y'all y'all nephews. Simba! 
Come play with the plastic. You and why'd you run? You think I'm gonna beat you? I'm not abusive. Okay, anyway, we're gonna go put these on the bed. Um, I'll probably check back in with y'all when um, we're getting the bed together. But I really need to probably start dinner. Um, at least put my greens, transfer my greens to a different pot. And then all I have to make is the beef ribs because we have leftover macaroni and cheese from earlier this week. We also have leftover. I'm done. Okay, Lena is eating her snack or lunch. Um, she had like a pouchy and some fruits. Um, my sister is texting me. <laughs> she had like a pouchy and some fruits and really that's it. She had a pouchy, some dried mango, some strawberries and milk for lunch. Um, for dinner, she's going to have those pinwheels I'm telling you about, but my phone is getting ready to die. So I'm going to just make my Lord's smoothie with y'all real quick. He's in there putting the bed together. Um, I'm washing my greens. Um, I need to figure out exactly what I'm doing with with these riblets that I have. These boneless riblets that I have. I think I want to do like a braised um, a braised beef ribs. Yeah, I've done braised beef tips. But I'm thinking about doing braised beef ribs. Um, I don't know. Okay, so we got our blender. I think I'm gonna have a smoothie as well because I'm really not gonna eat, like I told y'all, until dinner time. I'm trying to do one meal a day. Let's see how that goes. But yeah, so I'm taking some of these mixed berry. Well, this is the berry trio by Raider Farms, the strawberry, blackberries, and raspberries. I don't measure, but I know I want some as well, so I'm putting a decent amount in there. This bag, like if we have a smoothie, like every day or every other day, this bag literally only last like a week, but we haven't had a smoothie in a while, so that's why. We have a full cool bag. I always add a banana to my smoothie, no matter what type of smoothie it is. But typically, we're having berry smoothies, and that's not because that's my preference. I like them, but it's definitely my Lord's preference. Like, he'll have other smoothies, but he really, he really don't be here for it. <laughs> right. I say you really don't be here for a, any other smoothies than berry. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what I'm doing is I'm just taking the skin off of this ginger. He loves ginger in his smoothie as well. I do too, honestly. So, I'm going to put some ginger in there. Put a some ginger. This doesn't go bad till April, which is a little concerning, but maybe it's not. I don't know. Does oat milk usually last that long? We always drink oat milk, but to me, that just seems like a long time. So I'm just going to pour it until it covers the top of my fruit. Eh, splash one. <laughs> Some Greek yogurt, if I have it. And yeah, baby, we got it. So we're going to add it. This is gonna add some probiotics. Do this have probiotics? Well, it has protein. Yeah, this has live and active cultures. So, but it also adds some sweetness to it. Now, I am gonna add a little bit of honey, but when you add the Greek yogurt, you don't have to add as much honey. The Greek yogurt and the banana, you can't really take it there, guys. It's funny because I remember one time my Lord made his own smoothie. I think I was gone or something. And he was like, this smoothie do not taste like yours. There's a little bit of chia seeds. I didn't even measure it at all. 
and this is optional like i said we like ours to be a little sweet so i'm gonna turn it on and blend <laughs> We literally only drink out of mason jars. So. so yeah, this is mine. This will be the hubbies, and then I'll give Lena a little bit in her cup. Now my phone is saying I'm running out of storage, but anyway, here's Lena's drink. But she has a habit of turning her cup upside down because she's so she's not used to drinking out of a straw just yet. So I'm trying to help her and show her. Is it good, Mama? Is it good? Ooh. Is it good? Is it good? She knows how to say yes. Let's see, she wants to flip the cup upside down and it's like, no, baby. Hey, y'all. It's coming along. I really like this headboard. I wish, I don't know, it's very simple, but simple may be what we need right now. It is what we need. This is our first headboard <laughs> ever. <laughs> what did you say was left? The test part seven. This is part seven. So you just put, lay it over? You just lay it. Y'all, I'm so glad I got a husband. I could never put this. I can barely put a shoebox together. Say I'm lying, babe. <laughs> Almost done, guys. Our room looks a mess, but. <laughs> so, we finna get into this skincare routine. We're getting ready to close the vlog out because I just know my storage is probably going to run extremely low um but yeah we're gonna end the vlog with some skincare <sighs> alina is asleep out there i'm actually gonna do my skincare then take a nap because i still need to clean the kitchen i need to shut the house down before i actually go to bed for the night but Let's just get into the skincare routine. Wipe off my makeup with this e.l.f. Can y'all see it? This is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Melting or Makeup Melting. What is it? But yeah, Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. I use this quite a bit, but it's lasted a really long time if I'm completely honest. But. it works so good y'all so good it literally melts the makeup away now mind you i don't have a lot of makeup on as it is but even if i did like this thing right here it gets the job done my makeup was very light today almost non-existent but take my um my cellar water i'm actually running pretty low because i use this as a toner sometimes but i also use it um to remove my makeup so this is like i like to call it the pre-wash before the wash so that really is not that much makeup. I'm telling y'all, that melting balm, A1. Now I'm gonna go in with my La Roche Pose Gentle um, Foaming Moisturizing Wash. So now 
that my face is rinsed. Um, so now that my face is rinsed, I'm going to go in with some micellar water again just to make sure that everything is gone. Because sometimes, even after doing the cleansing wash, I still don't be getting all the dirt. Like, it's crazy how that works. Oh, especially up in them ears. You got to get up in there. Always do my rose water morning and night. Now I'm going to go in with my serums. Um, I was doing my moisturizer before my serums and I found out that that was not the right way to do it. So that just lets y'all know that I'm not an expert. I'm trying to become one when it comes to skincare. But anyway, we're going to go in with some rose hip oil from TJ Maxx. Next, we're going to go in with our La Roche Pose Triple Repair Moisturizing Cream. And this, you just need a little bit. You don't need even that much. The last thing we're going to go in with is our first. This is the Overnight Barrier Balm that we just bought today. I'm so excited to see how this, you know, affects my skin. It feels amazing, that's for sure. I feel like my skin looks so good. Laneige Lip Balm. Or sleeping mask. This isn't the lip balm. This is a sleeping mask. Gotta make sure them lips is good to go. I really hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I feel like it was kind of short, but y'all know how that goes. Um, I will see y'all in my next one.